All right, today we're looking at a PJ 40 foot gooseneck trailer. This is our FD trailer. It's got a 38 inch deck height. Uh, one of the special things on this trailer is it's got Trailer Flex air suspension. So I'm going to walk you through this trailer front to back. At the end of the video, I'll show you the air suspension. So starting up up front, we've got a Bulldog Square 30K coupler. We've got a 12 inch I beam neck and risers. That's 19 pound I beam standard. 22s available. Uh, inside the neck we have a Hydrostar brake actuator for the electric over hydraulic disc brakes. We've also got a spare tire mount up inside the neck. Uh, if you look under the neck, we have a front mount toolbox on PJ Goosenecks. A front mount toolbox is standard. Uh, it's made out of diamond plate. It's locking. It's got hinges with uh, grease zerks so that it's going to work good for a long time. You've got uh, gas shocks. So when you lift it up, it stays in place. You've also got a nice bar in here to mount your chains and your binders. All right, now we'll look at the landing gear on this trailer. This customer decided to upgrade to two-speed jacks. These jacks are made by Bulldog. They'll save you a lot of time for retracting the jacks while the trailer's already hooked up to the truck. So that kind of covers the front of the trailer. Now we'll talk more about the frame. Now we're gonna look at the 40-foot PJ Gooseneck frame. You'll notice that our lumber is treated number two, southern yellow pine. Uh, you'll notice that we double up the screws on every other cross member. The cross members are three inch channel and they're on 16 inch centers. If you want them on 12 inch centers, we can do that for you as well. Uh, the outside frame is made by 2x6 tubing, not channel. Most trailers use channel, we use tubing. Tubing is going to let you run all of your wiring and your lights inside of a tube. That's going to protect them and help you keep your trailer legal as you're going down the road. Also, every PJ Gooseneck comes with a rubber rail standard and it's got stake pockets and pipe spools. Uh, this trailer has been optioned with slide track with uh, winches. You basically just slide your winches to wherever you need them and when you order this option you get one winch for every four feet of the trailer. They've also ordered this trailer with a side mount front toolbox. Everybody knows if you're going to be in the hot shot business, you need lots of storage, uh, and this is going to be the way to go. Some other options that people might want to add would be like a wood rack uh, to carry 4x4 posts. All right, we've, uh, we've looked at the frame. Now we're going to go look at the running gear. We've got the running gear area of the trailer. Uh, this trailer is equipped with 12K Rockwell axles, Kodiak hydraulic disc brakes. We've got provider 235-80 R16 tires. Uh, you'll also notice that the winch ratchet is welded between the wheels on this trailer. Uh, we'll slide around to the back of the trailer and take a look at our tail setup and our ramps. Behind me is one of the more popular tail options for our hotshot goosenecks. This is our straight deck with rear slide-in ramps. These are 8-foot ramps that are made out of channel. You can load around a 9,000-pound vehicle using this ramp setup. The ramps slide out from the center. You hook them onto the ramp holders. Slide them back in when you're done. Now we're going to go take a look at the Trailer Flex air suspension. Yeah. 